السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم On behalf of Marqas Sahaba, the voice of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 2530 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah Azza wa Jalla, we focus on the fifth of Rabi'ul Akhir. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu ma reports, he performed 60 hajj, 60 hajj and 1,000 umrahs. And he liberated thousand slaves, eight tamara alfa marra wa a'taqa alfa abd. And he's buried in Makkah, Mukarramah, but not in the graveyards on the outskirts little bit. I went to his grave, Mubarak, with Allah's help and mercy. So he states, call, call Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, idha wudiyatil ma'ida. So when the duster khan is put or tablecloth is put, fala yaqumu rajulun. So a person shouldn't stand up, hatta turfa al ma'ida. Till the food, everything is clear. Now look at the adab. Me and you will do 90% of us, 80% of us the opposite. We just eat and we stand up. No, let the food go first and then you stand up. So that is adab and etiquette. There might be other people eating. There might be guests eating. And do not stop eating and pick up your hand, even though you might be full. Hatta yafrugal qawm. Till you must remember the people finish eat. So now take little bit, little bit just to show you are eating. You might be visitors, other people. Now when they see you as the host, that you stop eating, they will feel shy. They will say, now how can we continue eating? So will you uzir? And you must remember that and say that you give some uzir or some excuse. Then it's different. For in the rajula, because a person, the guest or other people, yukhjalu or yukhjilu jalisahu because the, the person there he will cause now shame to his companion fayakbidu yadahu so he also will pick up his hand but he's still angry wa asa yakuna lahu fi tu'ami haja and maybe he still wants to eat something now just go back 1400 years ago he rahmatulil alameen sallallahu alayhi wa is teaching us what we don't practice today also and we're supposed to do, which parents don't teach their children, teachers don't teach their students and so forth. So all these adabu tu'am, adabu sharab, adabu nom, the etiquette of eating, drinking, sleeping, behaving. You know the ulama rabbani, they're the senior senior ulama and pious ulama. When their children would come, when they were talking with adults, they wouldn't allow them there. They would say, you go away from here and you mustn't come interfere here. All adults are sitting. Today, we don't bother about these things here. There's great wisdom in these things here. So may Almighty Allah give us that adab and etiquette and so forth, which Islam taught us more than 1400 years ago. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.